Tokyo change. Hello everyone and welcome to Cute Anime Figures TV. I'm your host, Greg, and today we're taking a look at Russia Sentai Tokyuja. And today we're looking at Tokyo. So this is the Megazord for 2014. Uh, to do with the Russia Sentai Tokyuja. So this is this year's uh, Super Sentai's uh, Megazord. And it looks like a big train, which it does. So let's take a closer look at Tokyo, um, which that's its name, Tokyo. And have a look at the rushers individually, put them together, and we'll also take a look at the sounds on the uh, Tokyo Changer, which I recently reviewed. So let's take a look at Tokyo from R Russia Sentai Tokyo. Let's take a look. Close look at it. So here we are with Russia Sentai Tokyo, and today we're taking a look at the DX Gate Tokyo. So, um, Tokyo um, is made by Bandai in 2014. So this is the Megazord uh, for the Russia Sentai Tokyuja, and uh, these are the Zords. Um, they actually look like trains. So uh, this is actually a train-themed uh, Super Sentai series. So uh, this is only this year's uh, Super Sentai series that's out in Japan right now. So as you can probably see, I have the Megazord. So. As you can probably see, comes in a very nice uh, big packaging, as all Megazords do. Very beautiful artwork there. And as you can probably see, that um, the trains represent different uh, trains, as you can probably see in the Sentai series. We've got an old uh, locomotive train, we've got uh, two. Uh, Tall trains, and we've got two uh, box trains. Yeah. So, anyway, here's the logo to the series, and also the Megazord here. It says DX Tokyo, and made by Bandai in 2014, which I just said a few minutes ago. Here's the Bandai logo. I love the Japanese uh, text on here. And that so it says one to five because you get five rushes, and I'll show you the side, the packaging here. So you get red rusher, blue rusher, yellow rusher, green rusher, and pink rusher. Yep, red, blue, yellow, green, and pink to form Tokyo. I'll look on the other side. This is very, very exciting, um, guys. That, uh, oh, so what else is there? Oh yeah. So here it's showing you that uh, you can actually get the Tokyo Changer, which we already have the Tokyo Changer right here. So we can actually show off the uh, sound effects for the rushes and stuff. Um, it's quite helpful to have the. Uh, Transformation or the henching uh, morphers or morph embraces from the Sentai shows, it actually does help quite a lot. So, you can see you got the red rusher there and stuff. Um, I actually do get a red rusher with the Tokyo Changer. Um, it's quite similar to the one you get with the with Tokyo here, but I'll show you why. It's quite different. Okay, underneath, showing you some really cool artwork there. Really loving the design of Tokyo. Um, 
So as you can see, I call and there's that uh, V logo there for the Sentai shows, which is really nice. Uh, let's take a look at the back of the packaging now. You can actually get it around. But, uh, all right. So here we have uh, Tokyo. Also, we have the rushes, which I already explained. But I'll go through them again, anyway. So we've got red rusher, blue rusher, yellow rusher, green rusher, and pink rusher. And all of the rushes you can connect to make one big rusher train, as you can probably see here. Um, it's showing off that you can get the Tokyo Changer, you do split apart one of the front parts and stuff. Um, the Tokyo Gun, which we haven't got yet. And yeah, no rusher with that. And also there's the uh, the bazooka as well in this series. There is another, uh, you know, the power weapons and stuff. But anyway, uh, so let's actually get this opened up. I've already opened it up because um, I wanted to take a closer look at this uh, before I actually had a look in today's review. So. I was curious to know what uh, Tokyo looked like uh, before, but anyway, everything's still wrapped up still, anyway. Okay, let's actually get this open up. Uh, you probably noticed that uh, it's quite far away from the desk here. That's the reason why, because the box is quite big. So, and uh, let's pull the tray out. Um, you still get those lovely... Uh, Trays, as you can probably see here, we got just a plain uh, tray. You know, I think in the box, uh, trying to the Red uh, Ranger from Russia Sentai, Takuja, and also a little uh, icon there. Pretty cool. Love the artwork on the box, like I said earlier. Um, right now, you can all only get this uh, from Japan uh, at the moment. Um, it skips me in the moment uh, where you can actually get this. Um, check eBay and other places, all your favorite Super Sentai places and stuff, um, anime stores and uh, places that sell Super Sentai stuff. But anyway. Uh, okay, there's the instructions. Uh, that looks pretty cool. We're going to be needing this, definitely. I don't speak Japanese, but, uh, well, I do speak a little. But not too much, though. Okay, so that's the instructions. Uh, This is the thing here. They are actually doing a EX um, Russia series, uh, quite similar to those uh, Ranger keys, which we've never had a look at yet. Um, hopefully, I can take a look at some of those uh, keys from Go Kyger. I'm hoping to one day, but uh, fair enough, we're doing Russia Sentai at the moment. So that's that. Um, of course, that's only what we used to, I suppose. Uh, this is probably my first Japanese uh, Super Sentai uh, Megazord, I suppose. And also, uh, I do happen to have two others. But you'll have to wait until the reviews. So it's telling you what you can and can't do um, with the actual thing here in red. It's telling you what not to do, and here in the grey, it's telling you what you can do and stuff like that. It's it's only just to keep you safe um, from hurting your hands, I suppose. Uh, ooh, the Tokyo logo there. It's pretty cool. 
looks pretty interesting. Uh, how things work? Well, I've had a brief look at that, so let's uh, put it to the side there. And uh, it's a good thing I've got a pair of scissors here. The Alcon wrapped up um, with the sword. I am not uh, familiar what the name of the sword is. Forgive me. Because I haven't seen uh, Russia Sentai Tokyo. I've not had a chance to sit down and watch the episodes or anything like that. Because I don't have it on DVD yet. Um, hopefully it does come out. Okay, let's pull out some of these rashers. Um, we'll go through them. That's, uh, okay, that's the red rusher there. It's very, very big indeed. They are quite very long frames. There's the one. There's the pink rusher. Very lovely uh, tray. That's all you need when you get these megazords. You always get some kind of cool tray. Usually it's polystyrene. And a little on the floor. Hopefully you guys can actually see okay. Um, since we're far away with the camera. There's the uh, sword thing. I just pulled that down there just to prove that it does activate. And it does go like that. So it kind of becomes like a gun I suppose. That's the uh, sword. And also, it does match the Tokyo Changer, as you can probably see, the um, crossing sign and stuff like that. Um, and no stickers to put on. That is quite surprising. Um, they are getting better and better each time. Um, the Megazords. I don't know if we we're going to ever get a uh, US and UK releases of this yet because we haven't got it over here yet. <laughs> but you never know, you know, it, when when the time comes, uh, I'm going to do this one. This is the green pressure. Look how the bags here, they got the train up. Oh, wow. Indeed, wow. This is incredible. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that does, uh, that pops up there, pops up there. Extend that if you want to uh, the train. Uh, so there's a button on there, guys, to do that. Just tells you not to do that. Pull that, then that. This will form uh, one of the. Uh, Things. So that's the front part. This is the back part. Put that back together there. One of these must become feet or whatever. But we'll get to that soon. So that's the green rusher. I'm going to start with the pink rusher next. Um, no need to go in order. Okay, that's the pink rusher. Very cute indeed. Yellow rusher. Okay, that's the yellow rusher. Still very cute indeed. The blue rusher. I am very, very impressed. Never seen anything like it before. Okay. That must be the blue rusher. 
again, same thing. Kinda got a roll thing going on. It will come apart. Um, yeah, it will. It will come apart. Stuff, so that's okay. Oh, yeah, and that's where the clip for something helps. There, like that. Very nicely detailed. You can see, guys, very nicely detailed. And it is actually over there. So it's that one. And finally, the Red Russia. Well, I'm super excited for this. So. Wow. Incredible. That's probably where the uh, head is. Yeah. Also, it does have a joint here, as you can probably see. It does have a joint um, compared to the Uresha here. So we'll take this one off, and that's the train part there. Things do come up, and uh, that should be the. Head Tokyo. But anyway, that to the side, and I'll just get this one off here. Show you a comparison between the two. So here's comparison between these. Both look identical. Um, Apart from my minor paint apps, this one's much better painted. This is kind of like a candy toy version. It has the tab thing there for the uh, head and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to put this onto the side here. And they do work out the same way as the uh, thing. I'm just going to switch this on. It's very loud. And you just slide it on here like this. Press that. So it does the same thing, apart from you got the thing there and that's kind of rubbing against that but anyway okay let's jet that can I hear that noise there I'm gonna clip this to here because we don't need it until the megazord so I'm gonna pull that to the side um oh, let's go with the blue Russia and it's this one here, so you take off the front, like this, and uh, there you go, we'll press the gold one. Hopefully you guys can see this. Press the gold one button again. And it will run like this. That's what I would say. Do it again. Okay. Yeah, there you go. 
again. Yeah, let's just you know. very loud noise. Um, okay, that one clips back on there, like so. It's very tight, so it won't shake it about. It won't come off. Let's go with the green. Now, aha! It's this one. <laughs> Nail it. There we go. Stuff there. And yet again, it's these are what catches the uh, thing. Okay, let's do this again. So that's what it does with the green one in there. Jacked it out. Still makes that uh, train leaving noise. Get again. It connects to here. Just like this. Like that. Very tight. Uh, let's try the yellow one now. And this should be very simple. Just pull off the end there. You only need the front ends of the rashers. Um, just a I just want to know. Oh, that does uh, change that for the hand. Anyway, skipping ahead there. Um, yeah, again, we'll press this uh, gold button here on the Tokyo Changer. So, just keep going off. So, try this one here. So that's what it does with the yellow retro. Again, you can eject it like that. You best get these slid on there because it slides on there you see so and again that's the yellow one so we'll connect that back to there then we'll uh, put Tokyo together um, I'll do the pink rusher and that will be that yet again gotta line these up here press the uh, gold one again I'm just gonna leave that up there now um, Okay, we'll press the gold one again. Okay, so that's basically what all the rushes say. And that's, uh, I need to put the old rusher back into the thing. Can okay, put that here there? Like so. Like that. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, switch this off. I'll put this other rusher back in here. There's basically no different uh, other than paint apps and obviously uh, the things not on there. They all work out the same way. Um, you do need the Tokyo Changer. Well, you don't 
need it basically but you know if you are a huge collector of uh, Sentai uh, pension devices or whatever you may need it for the sounds for the for Tokyo um, but anyway it's a really cool uh, morpher to have a henshin device and it's one of my favorites at the moment so anyway well, let's talk about that um, and more playing Tokyo together I'm super excited so we need both of the uh, yellow and pink rashes so these will become the arms, I believe. So that's that one, because that way. Um, also, I should show off the trains for us, which you can connect them all together. Um, I do have the shield rusher, uh, believe me, I do. It's um, still in the Tokyo buckle. Yeah. Right, so. Trains go together. So first it's the Yeah, you connect them all together. Um all of the old ones when they're not all once um actually you can. That's uh, that's pretty cool. And connect them all together. So, let's, uh, let's do that. Just gonna move that uh, sword out of the way. And that's pretty much uh, the only weapon that Tokyo has. Um, obviously, that uh, goes there. So we got this one. And believe me, it is a long train. Oops. Make sure that don't roll off of there, so I'm gonna pull out that tab there, so it's that one. Um, I'll try and do it as best as I can guys. Um, they do attach like that, just for an example. Um, yeah, it's it's getting a little bit quite big, but you do get the uh, the picture. You know, the yellow one will go on there, then the others will clip on. You, can, you know, they do roll. Well, I'm going to get to Tokyo itself, because uh, yeah, I don't want it to be too. Uh, okay, let's uh, do something a little later. That goes on that. Yeah, so that goes on that. Nothing you can do about that. Right there. I get it. So that goes in there like that. Um, no articulation in that part. But we'll get to that later. So I do like how it does fold. Okay. And then that one folds that way like that. That will fold there, that will fold there. We're nearly there. So that's that one. We need the, uh, that's the yellow rusher, so we need that tab to go there. So a lot there. Uh, we need to do the same thing with the pink rusher. I'm just guessing at the moment. It goes there, twist that there. Um, guessing something will connect there, but you nope. Okay, one of these are the legs, so one of these will become the legs. Well, that 
almost all of out of there. Anyway, so that is there. So one of these should be like part. Should go back in there. So one of these drill on uh, something. Okay, yeah. Blue Russia goes the other way. should flip across the room. That's yeah, alright. Good fun times. Okay, so uh, one of these should go somewhere. One of them. Because one of these is going to become something. I didn't know that's true. Alright, so one of these. Ah, that has to swirl that way, so that's good. Making progress here, so. That must go there. Alright, so that must go there. So, I know that will go there. I've already done the pink one. So, one of these should turn, and that should be that side. This should go Yeah, it should clip in someone. So if the green one goes on that side. So if that one goes there, this one should go there. Yay! Nearly there. So the yellow rusher goes on this side. Oops, get that tab out there. Be very sensitive that tab. Goes in there. Okay, got a little bit of articulation this. And this one should go up there. There we go. Ignore that. So, we need to uh, pull this out. That should go there. And we'll reveal these. And there you have it. Uh, Tokyo. As you can probably see, that didn't take me very long to put together. Um, I thought it's going to be huge, but um, it's 
not bad looking. And on here, on the back, there's nothing, it's kind of hollow, uh, which I'll zoom in a few minutes, it's kind of hollow here. Um, I'm guessing that's where you can actually store the uh, sword. I'm guessing we can actually store this in here. Whatever you want to do. Store into there. And it's not using it. Mm. Must be for something else though. Okay, so we've got Tokyo uh, built up and stuff. Very easy transformation. So, there you go, that's what it looks like. Get a good look at that, everybody. I'll zoom in on the face. So there's the base there, very cool. Oops, sorry about that. There we go, very cool. I'm zooming out. It does connect very, very well. Um, it didn't take me that long to figure it out, actually. Uh, I thought it might take me a little bit longer. Oh well, so yeah, Tokyo. Looks pretty awesome. Let's take a closer look. Look at the bottom, going down, and up, and you can probably still see it, you know, like that, um, switch this on, there we go, you can probably see now at the back there, um, it doesn't have batteries. I'm just going to say it doesn't have batteries. Uh, there is tabs at the side of Tokyo for whatever you want to put on them. You know, the other retros and stuff like that. Uh, not bad for a first try on one of the uh, Megazords, one of the newer ones. Not too bad. No. So. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Alright, let's actually um, give him the weapon. So, that's supposed to go like that, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that connects into there, the zoom. And also it can rotate. So it looks like he has a gigantic gun now. And also he has a sword, as you can probably see. Looks pretty cool and amazing. And that's also he has some articulation that kind of swivels. And that's, uh, his head doesn't rotate other than these uh, visors here that protect his face. Um, they do go in and out, uh, go rotate up and down. Um, the feet don't move at all because it's part of the thing, transformation and stuff like that. You can actually replace the red rasher with two other rashers, the Kyoyuji rasher, um, and also with the uh, what else is it? The Go Busters Rusher, and also I think there is actually another Rusher, I think. The uh, Go Andre Rusher. So, yeah. You can also swirl the uh, fist as well and get some, more, some movement out of that. Not other than that, it's the transformation, I suppose. But this you can get that down there so it looks like a gun, or you can put it up there like a sword. Now I'm trying to think of which ways he wields it, and it is the yellow rusher that wields it. Yeah. So yes, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, no doubt about it. 
So, yeah, you can actually get a little bit of movement around the legs. Um, like this, I suppose, if you want to do that. I'll show you. Privacy. Back there. What it looks like. Um, I think some people will probably say this is it looks a little bit blocky or whatever, but I'm going to say I, I love the design um, of the Megazord. It looks pretty nice, uh, nice and clean design. Um, I know there isn't any batteries in here, and it is quite heavy, quite a heft to it, I suppose. Um, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with uh, Tokyo the way it looks. Um, hopefully, I can show you the shield rusher uh, with the Tokyo belt. No, yeah, the Tokyo buckle. Next, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into our final thoughts and stuff. I'm going to say he looks absolutely amazing. Um, doesn't take very long to put together. I tell you a few minutes or so. And that and uh, yeah, let's go to our final thoughts for Tokyo. So here I am with my final thoughts for Russia Sentai Tokyo, and today we've been having a look at the DX Gate Tokyo. And uh, this is the Megazord to do with the Russia Sentai Tokyuja series. Um, I'm going to say it is very impressive. Uh, I am very impressed that this is a train um, Megazord that combines together to become one Megazord. Obviously, there's another Sentai Megazord, but I'm just going to say that. I love the design. Uh, it looks amazing. I'm I'm lost for words at the moment. Uh, I I love the design, and that's pretty much it. Um, I can't really say too much about it, so then and, until I see what it does in the show. But uh, I am always impressed with all this Sentai. Uh, Megazords or Power Rangers Megazords. Um, so yeah, not bad for our first uh, try, the Japanese versions, and uh, hopefully we can take a look at more of these. Soon, hopefully, not uh, not too many, I like, but uh, because they are quite big Megazords uh, for displaying and stuff like that. So, uh, the articulation it doesn't have too much articulation. Uh, it has like I'll just quickly show you. It has you can move the wrists, move the arms in and out and up and down. That's as far as you're gonna get of articulation you're gonna get out of it. Um, these turn the training pieces here only because of the transformation. Uh, these do flip in only because of the transformation. The head doesn't rotate. Um, Due to the transformation, these do come out. Um, also, I just found out two minutes ago these are spring loaded back. I can show this off before we go. Uh, these are quite spring loaded. These little train things here, I didn't know that until now. And here, I think you can actually store something. Um, Maybe the head in here, that's where it's probably going to go. Because uh, you might attach something else there later on. For when all the uh, rushers come out and stuff like that. And uh, It's only come out this year, so... That, uh, I am pretty impressed with it. Uh, they all look good. There's no batteries... Um, or lights and sounds or anything with uh, Tokyo, it's just a very basic 
Megazord with no sounds and stuff like that. Doesn't have any gimmicks or anything other than you can clip all the trains together. That's the only probably gimmick I can probably find with this uh, Megazord. Because I know some Megazords have a lot of gimmicks and stuff like that. Uh, yes, there will probably be other trains, um, such as like other like other zords that connect to the main Megazord. There will always be something like that, like a sub zord or something like that. Um, Why call sub zords? Because uh, they're just there for support, you know, support zords and stuff like that. Um, to give it more power, you know, give the Megazord another look and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's really nice and I definitely recommend you guys picking it up. If you are a huge fan of Super Sentai or Power Rangers. And if you're interested in uh, this new series, uh, definitely check it out. It's definitely worth um, owning. Definitely. Uh, I can say that from just from opening the uh, packaging and having a look at the Megazord itself, you know, in hand, I can probably say it looks absolutely amazing and it actually does feel amazing to hold. Um, yes, you can probably buy, you know, the Rangers themselves, like action figures of them, I think at the moment. Uh, I'm not too sure how many there is out but uh, yes you probably will be able to buy like the rangers that you can put them in front of it for like a display and stuff like that uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to get the rangers or not um, I'll probably wait until they do figure out so obviously they will do figure out of every Sentai team obviously that's uh, probably a big if but anyway I really do love the design the colors really jump out of here, you know, the yellow and the pink especially jumps out here, also the red in the middle and the blue and the green on the side. It definitely looks amazing, definitely check it out guys. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're into trains, this may be something uh, to collect, and that's uh, if you collect trains. That's a train robot. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you guys very soon for another uh, review. Hopefully we can take a look at more of the Tokyuja toys and stuff like that very soon, I'm hoping to. But for now, I'm, I'm super happy to have the Megazord. And I know there is actually another Megazord, I think his name is Diesel -O. Um But obviously that's... Yet again, it's another Megazord, and they are quite pricey, so um, we'll have to see. I don't know. But I'm just happy to have the um, Tokyo, I nearly said these are low then. That's another story. Um, I'm just happy to have the original Megazord to do a Tokyuja, and I'm just so happy to have it, and it will be um, always be a part of my collection. Uh, Super Sentai or Power Rangers and uh, yeah as usual there will be photos of the Megazord on display and hopefully I can get a display set up stuff like that and uh, hopefully there will be a display video at the end of this review so until then I'll see you guys very soon hope you enjoyed the review I know it was quite short I think or not but I know I've talked uh, quite a lot about the Megazord itself. I showed off the uh, Tokyo Changer, which is this. And I show you how the Megazords connect together as like trains. Just for an example, I connected two together because you know, how much space we have. But um, yeah, I'm really pretty impressed with it. I'm definitely hoping to see the show very soon and I hope it does come out on DVD and uh, hopefully we'll probably get it over here in the UK or obviously in the US as well uh, the series, you know, an English Power Rangers series over it, off, over it 
of this series, uh, that's what I'm trying to say, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I certainly enjoyed every moment of it, on well, taking a look at it, and actually putting it together, that's very fun, and I've had fun making this uh, review for you guys, and I'll see you guys very soon, so until then, take care, arigato, and sayonara, until then. And it is a quick display video showcasing Tokyo on display. And a display video. So guys, here we are with Tokyo from Resha Sentai Tokyuja. And uh, as you can probably see, this is what it looks like on display. Um, I've had to switch some other things around, like my Samurai Megazord and the RPM Megazord, as you can probably see. Because um, I just wanted to display Tokyo on here, beside my uh, other two Megazords, me Dino Megazord, and also the one from Megaforce. So yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Definitely check it out. Uh, that's all I've got to say. And yeah, looks pretty awesome. And yeah. Until next time, thanks for watching everybody, and until then, arigato and sayonara.